Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video guys will be a video that will apply to any modern car guys nowadays, especially gasoline car. So if you have one, it will be very helpful to you guys. We'll explain what are the symptoms of a bad purge valve purge canister valve okay this is the valve that brings guys the vapors from the fuel tank to the engine and we'll explain what it does how it works all that and the symptoms of a purge valve that is stuck open symptoms of, of purge valve stuck closed and vacuum leak hose on purge valve so make sure you stay until the end that video guys can save you hundreds of dollars because sometimes uh, when the purge valve is bad or we have a vacuum leak it will tell you that let's say maybe you need oxygen sensor mass airflow sensors you spend hundreds of dollars and all you needed was a little hose so make sure you stay until the end now quick introduction we we'll have more than 200 videos guys on every car we get at the shop our mission is to save you as much money as we can so please subscribe to the channel and like the video let's start on it now and show you what we're doing here guys this engine okay uh, it's a four-cylinder guys dodge chrysler jeep and fiat engine used in multiple vehicles but many engines will use the same concept pretty much it's the same thing bmw mercedes ford dodge whatever it is volkswagen all they all of them have a perch perch valve perch canister valve what it does now guys okay you can see this is your fuel line here usually will be somewhere by the intake uh, it may be uh, mounted on the engine it may be guys mounted on the actually on the uh body somewhere but this line big line this line brings the vapors guys from the fuel tank to the purge valve purge valve it's activated it just opens and closes by 12 volt supply the engine computer tells it okay open and you let those vapors go from here past that hose enter the intake manifold from the intake manifold they'll end up in the engine and they will burn through the engine guys what, what will happen that way you reduce emissions you don't let the fuel vapors go in the atmosphere second your car gets better mileage because you get some extra fuel that way instead of losing it in the atmosphere now how that uh, how that valve can uh, can uh, fail guys stuck open or stuck close and the third option is guys having a bad hose cracked hose from the purge valve to the intake manifold make sure to stand to the end just that little hose for a few dollars can cost you the guys hundreds of dollars because it will not tell you that you have a bad valve we'll explain that in just a little bit so let me just remove that thing usually guys okay you have a wire that you need to disconnect a line two lines usually that you need to disconnect and you can pull it out and we'll explain okay what it does now if guys that thing fails stuck open you guys can develop engine misfire okay engine misfire uh, you can develop rough idle you can develop guys hard time starting your engine especially when it's cold why is that now guys because it when it's stuck open it will create vacuum leak it will suck extra air from the fuel tank that it doesn't know of and as a result guys the engine is confused he thinks it's getting certain amount of air but it's getting more air because if you have a vacuum leak and it will put less fuel because it doesn't know about that extra air and the car may misfire you may guys get a, a code for a lean running engine lean running engine usually indicates uh, bad guys oxygen sensor or bad mass airflow sensor and you will put new sensors hundreds of dollars guys and that's not going to fix your problem it could be just a bad valve usually when the valve is bad it will throw a code it could be such as p0443 uh, 440 444 so many calls guys can be related to purge valve depending on if it's stuck open stuck close but it may take two three hundred miles to get the code now that's the best scenario you get a code and you know that that guy is good but if it's stuck close guys okay it's even better because it doesn't affect so much the engine but you're going to get a code that you need to replace your purge valve this is the best scenario the worst one guys having a bad vacuum hose okay back the hose from the purge valve to the intake manifold if that hose is cracked somewhere but the purge valve is working okay what's going to happen now it's going to happen guys you're going to create a vacuum leak and the engine will think the purge valve is working okay but you're still getting that extra air your engine may misfire may get an engine light for running lean and needing new oxygen sensor or mass airflow sensor and all you need is a okay is a hose that is just a few dollars guys and 
These guys could be caused because of that holes and vacuum leak on your car. It could be caused from uh, other, excuse me, other vacuum leaks as well, like these holes here. You have quite a few vacuums on your car, but always, guys, check the purge valve and the holes as well. So hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you having that problem. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.